Hello, my little lithoholics. I just wanted to give you guys a rundown on this, what you guys are gonna do uh, with your stone lithograph. There's only two people are, so this is the Rudy version, not the Susanna version of a demo. But I've got you both get stone. It has a cover on it. And then there's a protective piece of newsprint in here. You always wanna keep your stone covered when you're not drawing on it. You don't wanna spit on it. You wanna draw on it with either a glove or a piece of paper here. But any grease gets on here, it'll it will print. So if you eat pizza or have a greasy fingerprint, it'll go on there. If a fly lands on there and poop, it might print. So you always wanna keep it covered when you're not using this. And you're just gonna make a drawing on here. Lithography is just like drawing this beautiful grain surface I've prepared for you, 220 grit. Um, when you draw, you can get this little kit here. And it's gonna have a couple different brands in here. Number one is the greasiest crayon, so it will be softest and it will be darker. Let's see, number, and then number three is a medium tone value, and then number five is harder. And it will be a little lighter, but you could get dark tones, you just have to kind of build it up. These things are kind of awkward, they fit into here. You just kind of slide this thing, right? Push here, slide. Show me again push at the end, this opens. There's a couple of ways to do it. You could use a pencil sharpener that comes in your little kit right here and then put it into a little bowl and you can actually use that material to draw lightly with on your finger with the stone. But some people like to use a little piece of sandpaper to sharpen it. You'll be sharpening this constantly as you work if you want detail. And also you could use a Zacto knife and kind of cut it. Um, one thing to remind you of, oh, here's a tablet too, like a number three. So you can kind of use this like a piece of chalk or something. Um, and then this is a racer thing. You want to use this with a little water and kind of scratch. But before you use this, you should just use like a white eraser that's clean or even like a pink pearl eraser that's clean. But kind of like go on the idea of like once it's on the stone, it's going to print. Erasing works for the most part, but sometimes it won't. You can do deletions with a little sandpaper. I've also included in your kit a little wrapped knife, so you can kind of scratch into it and do some highlights. Um, you could also use an X-Acto knife. Let me just see what else I have here. Number one thing is your image is gonna print reversed, so you are gonna to have to um, use your, I would recommend just drawing on this tracing paper that we're including here in the kit. And then if you wanna flip it, the drawing, however you draw in here, it's going to print opposite. So you could do your drawing on here, flip it, and place it here. This is a red iron oxide paper. It's a little messy. There's a bright orange side. You would tape that face down to your stone. And then you would put your drawing over it and then trace. This will transfer onto the stone. This has no grease. But don't worry about your details. Just kind of get some some marks and you feel free to draw directly on the stone so stone red carbon iron oxide down first the reverse of the way you want your drawing to be and then just transfer it once you do this then you'll draw with your litho crayons and me and Susanna will be here for you but you should contact me if you have questions um, Keep covered when you're not drawing, erasing, sandpaper, don't touch your stone ever. Yeah, anything else, Sus? Can they lay out their drawing on the stone with pencil first? Uh, I wouldn't because the pencil sometimes will pick up print, so that's why, or pick up ink, so that's why I would always start on a piece of tracing paper. It's pretty convenient too because if you draw your drawing the way that you want the print to look, all you do is just like this, and then you could still see your drawing. So you don't have to retrace it a second time. What about drawing on the gray surface of the stone and then having it later printed on white paper? Oh, um, yeah, you have to keep that in mind, right? Like we're printing on white paper, maybe some cream, but the stone's a lot darker. So when it prints on lighter paper, what does that mean, Suze? 
When you look at your drawing on the stone, you'll get used to it sitting on kind of a middle value gray. Just remember that some mid-tone gray drawing that you do may not show up as well on that gray background. Just remember that it's gonna be eventually printed on white. So a lot more of those middle grays will show up better when you print. Does that sound good? Yes, I'm also including some gloves. And just call or text me if you have any questions. You can text photos or videos to yeah, Rudy. Yeah, and then like once you guys are done with the drawing, it's just a drawing. It's just, that's all it is. And then we'll process it and print it. The other thing is, we're not gonna get these back for you guys to sign them. So you need to include your signature in your image and you have to put that on there backwards. So when it prints, it's legible. We are trying to raise some money for visual artists. So if you could please think about your imagery, and your content, and hopefully we could raise some money with good stuff. And content wise, we're looking for kind of your response to this crazy COVID time visually. Yes. We can't wait to see what you come up if with. If you guys need new pencils or anything, just let me know. We got them. Okay. Thank you. Toodle dee.